Welcome to UCSD Recreation's Triton Dines. My name is Erin, I'm the Registered Dietitian, and today we'll be making a Mediterranean grain salad. So today we'll be using olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and some honey and mustard, which are all different ingredients that are really easy, and I typically find them at any Airbnb I stay at, so they're usually pretty easy to find. We're gonna make a little dressing out of these ingredients and then add them to farro, which is a different kind of a grain. If you don't have farro or you don't really wanna try what it tastes like yet, you can always sub this for quinoa, rice, pasta, any other grain that you have on hand, it doesn't really matter. We're also gonna use garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, for the protein. But again, if you would rather also have some chicken or fish or other kinds of tofu, feel free to add a variety of things that you like. We'll also use some onion and garlic just to add a little flavor. And then our lovely plant foods are gonna include cherry tomatoes, spinach, and parsley. So for equipment to make this dish, it's pretty simple. You'll need a pot to boil some water and make the farro in. You'll also need a little mixing bowl, but I'm using a handy dandy measuring cup to make the dressing. And then you'll also want a cutting board with a knife in order to prep some of the vegetables and the onion and the garlic. A whisk is always pretty handy to mix the dressing, but if you don't have this, you can just use a fork, it's super easy. And then um, a knife as well to do some quick little chopping skills. And that should be it. So first thing that we're gonna do is start by boiling some water. It usually takes like eight to 10 minutes, so pretty quick. The first thing that we're gonna do is start with cooking the farro first, because that takes about 10 to 12 minutes. So we'll start with just pouring in the farro. It's gonna be boiling, we'll leave it in for 10 to 12 minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna start by prepping the dressing and getting all the vegetables chopped. So first we're gonna start by mixing a few ingredients together to make the dressing. So we're gonna start with a little bit of olive oil. It's usually the base for a lot of different kinds of dressings, so it's a really good staple to have. It's also a fat that helps to keep us feeling really satiated at meals. It also helps for our brains and keeps us insulated and at a really good temperature. So fats are good for those of you that maybe have been told something otherwise. Then we're gonna add in a lot of different flavorings. So we're gonna start with some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of salt, and lastly, some pepper. And then I usually like to whisk that together. We're also gonna add in some honey and some mustard for some extra flavoring. Give that a good mix. And then we get to start chopping some garlic. So usually when you get garlic, it looks like this. And we only need one clove. So what I like to do is open it up and just take off the outer skin. So we're gonna take off one piece and that's gonna be one clove. So a cool little thing that I learned, if you don't have a cool fancy garlic press, is you take it and then put the knife on top and press down, and then that easily takes off that outer protective layer so you're not having to try to like hurt yourself while you cut it. And then simply cut it into a few couple lines, chop it up so you don't get a huge chunk of garlic. All right, so once our garlic is chopped, we're gonna take that and add it to the dressing. Mix that up, and we're all set with our dressing. So next we're gonna start by cutting up the onion. Really cool tip that I learned, start by cutting off the end that doesn't have the stem on it. So you'll cut that off. You'll remove the outer layers. And then a way that is really quick and easy is to then put it down and make a few lines straight down into the onion making sure to keep your fingers out of the way. Put it on its side, protect your fingers, and then chop. All right, so then you'll find that they're already kind of cut into smaller pieces, and then from there you can just kind of finely chop them. Again, if you have a larger chef's knife, this makes it a lot easier. All right, so now that we have our onion, we're gonna add it to a bowl. All right, so next we're gonna cut some cherry tomatoes to add some flavor. So I usually like to kind of quarter them, so I'll cut them in half and then turn them over and cut in half again. 
You can also use a variety of vegetables in this dish. So if you like cucumbers, even squash, those kinds of things might go really well. So we're gonna add those to the onion. The last thing we're gonna prep is some parsley just to give it a little bit of flavor. You don't want a whole lot, so I'll just typically cut off a small section. And then again, you'll just kind of chop the finely. All right, so then once that's chopped, we're gonna add that to our tomatoes and onion. So we have a nice little variety of colors in there. So now that our farro has been cooking for 10 minutes, we're gonna drain it. So here comes the fun part. You gotta throw everything together in one bowl. So we're gonna grab the chickpeas and add that to our vegetables. Give it a nice mix. Then we're gonna add some farro in that. We're gonna mix that all together. We're gonna add in the spinach. You could also use kale or any type of other mixed greens in here as well. And then lastly, add in our dressing once you have it all mixed together. Um, I always like to add in a few fun toppings like feta cheese, pumpkin seeds, or dried cranberries just for a little added flavor. But here you go, your finished salad. So there you have it, a really quick, easy recipe, Mediterranean grain bowl. Thank you for watching Triton Dimes. I'll see you next time.